Alright guys, we're back, back to Fudiraba last time. Well, we spent some time with Misaki. Yes, we did. To the point that we walked her home. I mean, at one point, it, it might not have happened. But it seemed that she really wanted to. So yeah, we walked home and <laughs> I held her hand. Which was the best thing. Yeah, so I think we're, we're getting close to the confession. Hopefully. We should be getting close to it. And well, let's continue with the story. Right side, good. Left side, good. Front, good. I'm up bright and early today checking the mirror on my door over and over. Even though I'm not super attractive, I need to be careful about my appearance as I can hunt a girlfriend. Meh, I don't like it. My side locks look weird. So I take care of my legs in my hand and start to struggle once more. I wonder if I'll live to see the day when this kind of pain, a plain sober effort will pay off. If I actually didn't find a girlfriend after doing all this, I effectively end up as a used to creep spending too much time in, the, in front of the mirror every day. Okay, mom. Since my mom got on me, I decided to give it up and just go eat breakfast. It's alright, hard work pays off. If you don't have the attitude, you'll never make it in this dog eat stuff world. God, my Psylocke just looks so wrong. <laughs> Even after getting to school, I just can't stop obsessing about my hair. Am I a narcissist? Do I actually have a narcissistic personality? You. Well, I'll just leave it. Nee, nee. For its own, it's even no coming at all. Can you see the auto? What can I eat? They were so still. Is that so? What is that real? That's the last thing I want to be hearing now. Josh Karamita, dance no Kimochi Wari called the best of five in a high rashin day. Forget to Janak about Monday nine on it. ベタベタとスタイリング剤まみれの髪をアピールされても気持ち悪いだけだって<笑> Well, that makes sense I then quietly get up from my seat and go to wash my hair After I had washed everything out of my hair, I got caught by Justice and received a stern lecture from him Well then Alright, break time Misaki, of course. It's going to be break time in between classes, and it's my lucky day. I spot Senpai in front of me uh, of the stairway. Senpai, are you on your way to a different classroom? <sighs> oh, she's blushing. Maybe she's not on her way to a different classroom. <laughs> oh, she is? Huh? Hey, wait, senpai. It was pretty evident that I was the cause of her fluster steed this time. I guess it's about time I met up and confess her. Yes. Alright, it's time. Yes. Finally. Yeah, let's do it right away. Why, why, why stall? <laughs> let's go for it. Let's do this. I'm a man. Damn it. This is my very, uh, the very goal I've been busting my ass up for ever since school started back in the spring. Yes, and this is the purpose of this game, basically. I didn't return to our classroom and honestly ponder how I should go about confessing her. All throughout, I couldn't quite get Senpai's face upon seeing me from earlier out of my mind. Okay, transition. Tomorrow is the day, the 30th of June is finally upon us. Did we just time skip? I've decided to do my confession the day I'm, uh, I'm gonna. Okay. I also had to worry about summer break, which is only months away, so I now or never essentially, okay. It's kinda sudden, but I guess I'll give her a call and ask if she wants to do something with me. Intuition informs that the school would be an awful sight for my confession, the third years would get in my way. They think I'm not good enough for her. 
and the fact that alone is enough to scare me away from choosing the school. Well, I can just take her out somewhere too. That way we'll also get to enjoy the day. So it's two birds with one stone. But it would be beyond sad if I went through all of that and got rejected. <laughs> Well, actually, forget about that. This is a much bigger concern of mine. Does she even have a proper understanding of what a relationship as a boyfriend and girlfriend entails? Yeah, I'm gonna guess now. So, what do I do then? Should I explain all of that beforehand and then confess? She kinda gives the impression that you could pressure her into anything if, she, if you were just insistent enough about it. But it'd be a serious mood killer if I only figure out she didn't know after getting a yes. Uh, this has to stop. These stupid ass negative thoughts are the sole reason I've been putting it off so much. No excuses. I'm doing this. I will confess to her tomorrow no matter what. I grab my phone and call her straight away. Even if she does have plans, I could always just go over to her place and for a few minutes and, or something. Though I kind of feel like I'm bothering her. At any rate, I want to move forward and beyond this current relationship we have as friends, even if that distance is only a baby steps. Ooh. Oh, senpai, sorry for calling you. I know it's kinda late. Are you free tonight? Uh, free train, I believe it. <laughs> oh, she sounds kinda tired. But the clock in my room tells me it's it isn't even nine. Uh, so I actually wanted to ask you something. Would you like to go out and do something with me tomorrow? Say yes, please. Say yes. Mm-hmm. Yep. I guess you could call it a date invitation. completely silent for whatever reason. Though that is normal for her, so it doesn't really strike me as anything odd. If you're free, would you care to go out and do something with me? It will be just the two of us. We'll be going somewhere fun, like the water park we went to that one time. Nice. Yeah. Seriously? Yes, internally. <laughs> I haven't even confessed yet, and I'm already about to go up Victor the dance. Okay, when should we go? Didn't you see tomorrow? Doing it too early would mean we'd be walking around like the whole day, so that's probably not the ideal. I see. Okay then, how about to be in at the station? Let's go. How about this? You get to pick where you, we go tomorrow, Senpai. Well, I guess I could pick, but I don't think you have fun at any places I like. Yes. <laughs> Senpai's horse hit me right in the heart, so I just stand there unable to say anything for a bit moment. I almost feel like confessing to her right now here. Yeah, but on the phone, eh. But that's something I ought to do in person, not over the phone. Alright, see you tomorrow then, too. Uh, by the station, don't forget. Good night. Phew. Our date is tomorrow on. Wait, what? I, I, I don't even know how to say it. Our date for tomorrow is on. Alright, time to sleep. I love my life. I roll around my bed on stuff while walking the blanket. <laughs> it's the same thing that happened when we went to the water park. Just knowing that I'm going to do a date with a senpai fills me with so much excitement. Holy crap. We don't get to spend a lot of time together at school since everyone everyone's literally out to pull us apart. <laughs> I'll show them. Yeah, I'm gonna climb in status from boyfriend from friend to boyfriend tomorrow. Okay, now I gotta get do some research for tomorrow's date. I then proceed to face my notebook with my body still jittering with excitement. Tomorrow will be the first confession of my entire life. 
<laughs> third, but okay, <laughs> different timeline. I always thought I'd feel more uh, touchful the day before, but it was anything but that. I couldn't wait for tomorrow to come. Yes. There we go, 2 p.m. It is 2 p.m. I remember the main square a little bit ahead of time, so it's like, what, front 50? I didn't really have to get here early, but I'm just absolutely dying to see Senpai right now. Ah, uh, I could've just gone over to her place to pick her up. But meeting her parents at this, uh, this stage would be a little bit awkward, to say the least. So I better just sit here and wait. <laughs> Try to wait faster. What? I mean, I probably just get all worked up and effectively spin my wheels in the process, looking like the biggest loser on the planet. I think it's gonna... it's getting around too. Wait, do you have a clock, dude? Uh, watch, I mean, I guess I checked the time and confirmed that it's, it is 2 o'clock. Now let's see if I can spot her. Oh, there she is. She spots you. That's how it works. Yay. There she is. We could end the gameplay right here. <laughs> we could. Senpai! He just scared the crap out of her by doing that. <laughs> Come <laughs> down, dude. You're gonna scare her away. Nani? I don't know, I just love your expressions, that's all. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. I was just really happy to see you. I scream out without realizing. The girl standing before me is undeniably cute, and that's not just by the standards. Everyone else would clear clearly agree. She is cute, but there's something else about her. I'm not sure how to describe it really, but it's like she has a different vibe to her than other girls. I mean, she's kind of a shy type, right? Something about her just makes me want to smother her in a nice big hug and I'm not even her boyfriend. <laughs> She's just the type of girl that kind of stuck slowly, like in brief sentences. Oh no, uh, thanks for coming out. I don't seem to be the only one nervous. Oh, but this is a date. This is how things are supposed to be. <laughs> Ready to go, senpai. Where are we going? Hold her hand and we set off to our destination. Oh, at least we're going hands, this guy. Correction, I couldn't actually hold her hand. But we do walk close together like a pair of good friends as we get towards the shopping mall. <laughs> so you wanted to, but you couldn't. She said she hadn't had lunch yet, and I was a bit hungry myself, so our first order of business was food. Uh, here we go. Uh, the bowl's pretty hot, so be careful. Yeah. Thank you. Phew. So, why are we having lunch here? The plan was to go to a restaurant or something that Senpai would like, but when I asked her where she wanted to go, she took me here. <laughs> I really wanted to go where, where we could have some, you know, privacy since this is a date on. But, well, she seems to be happy with this, so why not just go with it? <laughs> Following your example, I also choose shrimp tempura soba soup today. Haha. Uh -huh. You know, it's almost it almost feels like we're eating in the school cafeteria. <laughs> She's so happy about that. Yeah. We're having lunch in the shopping mall's food court. Apparently she developed a craving for shrimp tempura, udon, and soba soup. Uh, after eating it once, so I when I treated her to it the other day, she has to hold shrimps in her bowl. Do you like shrimps, senpai? Mm. Oh, okay. I guess they look, they do look alike, but I sure hope she realizes crayfish are poisonous. 
it's hot. Oh well, it is soup, right? Want some uh, shichimi? Senpai. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Seeing her blow on it from close up looks like she just makes it look like. <laughs> <laughs> when she leans over to the bowl a little, it makes her back appeal a little smaller. Uh, which practically doubles her cuteness, which she has an infinite amount of already. Oh, I'm enjoying something else, that's what it is. Huh? Oh yeah, of course. Thank you. That's a really cute smile. Ah, oh, this girl has to be an angel, I swear to god. Uh, if I were her father, I'd beat the living shinner of my weird guy that tried to get near her. I <laughs> did that's you, right? Did you want to eat soba today, uh, senpai? You could've just told me, then we could've been able to look for some place better to go to. Hmm... <laughs> Uh, is that why you like the school cafeteria so damn much? <laughs> damn, my heart stops for a moment, almost making me drop my chopsticks. I know she was just talking about the cafeteria, but hearing the word love from Senpai's mouth swept away out of all my composure. Since generally speaking, her personality is rather reserved, I never imagined she would be capable of making her my heart race like this. Hmm. I'm dying to know. How does she feel about me? I used to confess, but even now, I, can, I still can't stop thinking about it, that question. So, Senpai, have you ever thought what I it'd be like to have a boyfriend? Tsuki? Oh. Yeah, so essentially, you'd be dating. You're just thinking hard, huh? <laughs> yeah, you, you seriously don't? <laughs> well then. Haha, <laughs> I don't think that's the kind of thing you say with confidence. Well, I can't say I didn't see this coming. Alright, I'll give you a rundown of the basics. So right now, the relationship you and I have is one of friends, do you understand that? <laughs> don't friends on me right now. <laughs> see, so she smiles happily. Here, I'll, I'll use this stuff on the table to illustrate this. At the moment we're here, where the soy sauce bottle is. Mm. Oh, it would've been nice, you know, like a description so I can see it too, but whatever. Like a little, like, chart. Not chart, but like a uh, illustration. Eh. Eh, oh, and before I go on, the area behind that is non-friends. So basically strangers. Dani? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, you don't have to cry. You don't have to cry. <laughs> we are friends. Don't cry. Don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. Don't worry, we're, our current position is here, so we are friends. We're... We're, uh, where the soy sauce bottle is at, as I said. Shoyu combi. Wait, 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 I don't have... To, I don't want to be that. Uh, going on, we went on a date the other day, you and I, the two of us, at, at the water park. Correct? Babu, babu. Wait, did I just skip a... Did I just skip a... I think I just skipped something. At the water park. On top of that, we spent the entire day together, so I say we've been pretty lovey dovey, okay? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, I got a little carried away, I guess. Right, the two of us aren't really lovey dovey. combi! <laughs> She's stuck with the soy sauce, though. Okay then, we'll stick with soy sauce. So be it. Forget about the soy sauce, damn it. So basically, we, since we went on a date on the water park together, I'd say I hold my index finger next to each other and move them to the side. We advance beyond the soy sauce stage and gone to the shichimi. 
So basically, as I would put it, more than friends but not quite boyfriend and girlfriend. And oh, and no sashimi too. <laughs> wow, she just looks sad about that. So the question now becomes, where would you like our relationship to go, senpai? That's what I'm asking. Sa Saki? Yeah. For the most part, when a guy and a girl get close as we are, the question of dating at least comes up. So what would be better? The chopsticks box is where you and I start dating and become a couple. Couple? Hi. She listens with a straight face throughout, not showing any signs of embarrassment. I kind of wish she, she would at least blush or something, but being as inexperienced as she is, I can't really ask for that. Mm-hmm. Okay, she figured it out now. <laughs> she finally figured it out. Yeah, that, that's right, dating. Okay, now she's blushing. Okay, this is good, I guess. Though she's like extremely. Yeah, what is it? Oh, I mean, we are still friends, but we're like closer than friends, I guess. Like, yeah, closer friends. Well, at the very least, you stop being friends. <laughs> I mean, not really. You go beyond friends. So yeah. Huh, you wanna be friends? She seems to be really hung up with the idea of friends. I don't. I don't. I don't. Why that is? It should be I don't know why that is, right? Nor what personal meaning it holds to her, but I do know one thing. I'll let you into something cool. Going out with someone is a lot better than being friends. It's like being super friends. <laughs> that one thing I do know is I have to teach her what it means to be in a relationship with someone. Yes, you go beyond friends. The same guy that had been despairing over his failures with the girls not even a month ago is now teaching someone about love, how the irony. But if the girl I'm teaching is this darn cute, then I couldn't care less about the irony or whatever. So what happens? No, so it's still unknown. I'm gonna stop right here actually. Yes, I'm gonna leave this the second part because the second part is basically the confession. Where I have to walk her home again, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it right here. <laughs> Freaking cliffhanger, yes, I know. Typical of what I do in this channel. So, yeah. Well, it's gonna be hard. I mean, I don't know. It seems they, they already went beyond that. It's already night. It should be like, what, maybe 6, 7 p.m., I guess? Uh, I don't know, maybe 8. It's kind of dark. So, well, that was something, alright? Unfortunately, uh, Senpai doesn't know the meaning of love, basically. So for her, being just friends is good enough. As she doesn't know what beyond friends really means. <laughs> or super friends. <laughs> super friends. Yeah. Well, I guess next time we'll find out what happens. I'm pretty sure she's gonna s eventually say yes, but I wonder how she's gonna say the yes. Like, not really knowing what what's up. Oh, super friends. That's what it means to be a couple. Okay, sure, whatever. <laughs> Something like that. Who knows? Well, anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you made this point of the video, leave a like, leave a comment if you would like to as well. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys on the next one.